So, Luca, ciao, once Marcus. again, ciao Luca, numero due, Numer the unboxing of the new Luce. Exactly, our new Luce, now we will see how it is packed and what it comes with our new Luce. Packaging is a little bit new, so it's always a surprise whether we can open it correctly. Yes, the packaging is new, we will uh, use uh, the a pill of a big pill of over the uh, machine with foam and underneath yeah. it we have a preformed uh, let's say um, container so now i we'll remove this one here exactly this oh, is yeah. a recyclable uh, foam and as you can see on the box uh, we have also the two ah oh, yeah here the two cut uh, to lift the box in case uh, you okay. need to lift the box yeah okay. yeah now, Chaga! And here we have our accessory Christmas box. Or... Exactly, this is the accessory box for Christmas or for any time of the year. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Where we have the uh, brush to clean the machine, the spoon that everybody asks what it is for, but this spoon is calibrated with a dose of 8 grams of coffee. So theoretically, uh, one spoon is a single coffee, two spoon it's a double coffee. So this is an old school uh, system. Okay, <laughs> uh, museum system. <laughs> but it works. Yeah, yeah. For me, I need a 10 gram for a single. So uh, one spoon and one a big quarter. Spoon. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, cool. Plus we have uh, the cover of the water tank sensor because the, the machine can be plug to the main water supply or use with the water tank. When you use the water tank, you have a sensor that must work in contact with the tank. When you um, plug the machine to the main water supply, you bypass the sensor, putting this uh, uh, metal uh, plate in front of the sensor. Okay, this is the only things you have to do to convert the machine from tank to direct water. You put this on the sensor oh. and you open the manual tap underneath and the machine. This one we show in, in another part where, where we show how to connect the machine to the main water, okay? okay. Then we have uh, two the, filter we, holders. We have the single and the double filter holder, okay? with uh, 10 grams uh, and uh, 20 grams uh, filter. Okay, those are the, uh, the two filter holders that we provide with uh, our coffee machine. The filter holder are from, uh, the filter are from IMS, uh, so made in Italy. And uh, we cooperate with IMS since uh, more than 60 years. And here comes not a plastic tamper. Here it comes uh, our Temper, metal temper that we give you with, our, with all our new uh, coffee machine. It's a 58 millimeter. It's a 58 millimeter that fit perfectly with uh, uh, with our with our filters. It has a little bit of uh, tolerance at the side. The tolerance is needed because yeah. the size of the filter. Sometimes have, have a tolerance, mm. or sometimes it always have a tolerance. So you need to have a minimum of yeah. tolerance. Otherwise you risk to not to be able to use the yeah. temper. Plus, we have the blind filter. Yeah, <laughs> super. That is used to clean the group of your machine. So you put it into the filter holder. You put some powder to clean the uh, coffee circuit and you um, and you brew the water and you clean uh, the circuit of the coffee plus uh, in this uh, uh, version of machine you can use it to set up your opv valve by putting this filter into the filter holder and starting the brewing you will see on the manometer the setting of the opv so by turning the uh, the screws of the OPV, you will increase mm. or decrease the brewing pressure during the coffee start. And now we uh, check here what is underneath the plastic cover. Oh. Okay, here we have uh, our quality control card with the serial number and the name of the person that tests the machine and the data of the order. 
Here we have a cleaning instruction of the hydraulic circuit, mm. okay, that uh, uh, is better to perform uh, before to start uh, to brew coffee. This, this is a cleaning procedure that is shared by many, um, let's say, many producers. And so here, this one is for the transportation, for the stability. This is to avoid that during the transportation, the drip tray flip or, uh, let's say, move and create any damage to the, to the coffee machine. Mm. Even this pillow, it's uh, very soft, so the machine is like if it's moving on a uh, hair, uh, let's mm. say, on a hair pillow. Okay. okay. And, uh, this is to try to avoid the transportation damage. Of course, those kind of machine with their weight, uh, if they fell down from a high uh, level, uh, it's very difficult to protect it. But we try to do our best. And this is good because this absorbs quite a lot of energy. Yes, this is so. Well. But the problem of this machine when mm. they fell down is the weight of the component on the inside uh, um, frame. Yeah, in yeah. our case, the frame is in stainless steel, so it's very strong. We remove, and here also, remove the foam. And now I think uh, we can remove okay. the trip remove tray the... here. This is always more uh, safe to, to remove the flexible components. And now, wait, yeah like this and now we have to pay attention here on the plug yeah remove it and put it back and here it is the stainless steel version so then we have two more versions the green one and the black one this is the stainless steel uh, super mirror version uh, it's one of the four uh, available yeah. uh, color. Wow. Let's say it's the most popular version. Yeah. For us, uh, especially in the German market, the most popular version is the version is tiny steel. And here you see the, the bottom of the packaging, the four holes. As you can see, the feet do not touch the uh, low part of the carton box, so any shock during the transport hmm. is uh, absorbed by the uh, the flexibility by the form. Yeah. Cool. Cool. Wow, that's a real big improvement. So the, the drip tray it's uh, all in stainless steel, uh, welded, polished. So this machine is let's say the brightest uh, version of our uh, wow. Luce. Nice. Nice. Also with the old logo. Also with the old logo as a uh, we said uh, during uh, our last meeting, we are in the process of renewing all our logo. So all our new model will have uh, this logo. And uh, soon we will have all our, let's say, line uh, with, with, the new, with the new logo. Really nice. So I really like the machine. It's uh, yep. simple and simplicity is always something quite uh, difficult to achieve. Of Be course, it's uh, simple. It's uh, let's say the ne the, it has the necessary feature to brew a good coffee without uh, uh, many complicated system. At the end of the day, if we want to have good coffee or a good cappuccino, this kind of product can can make it. And about the uh, price below fifteen hundred, I think, or it's uh, yes, of course, we will come out with the price in the next week. As yeah. I told you, those are just the first prototype that uh, we brought to to you, Marcos. Cool, cool. And uh, uh, the production and the distribution we start uh, mm. in the next month is not ready now yeah. for the production. Nice. I really like the finishing. Super. No, no sharp uh, corners. No, no, we really take care about the, the finishing. As you can see, we have a band here that uh, yeah. even prevent from any uh, sharpness. Okay. Here inside the, the, the water uh, tank, we have also, this is the discharging pipe that you can, in case you want to connect the machine to the, um, to the discharging, you open this bolt and you connect this pipe to this elbow. 
and you put this in the, the yeah. discharging of the of your kitchen. We have also a stainless steel um, pipe with uh, his uh, um, gasket that you can plug uh, on to the, the main water. Of, yeah, on the on the back of the machine to the uh, tap. Now it's oriented in this side, but you can turn it on the back, and you can orient the the inlet pipe as you like. Okay and you connect it directly to mm. the main water supply. Wait, I just lift a little bit the machine so we can then see it better. Okay, for the for the transport we put it like this, but if you want to turn to turn it back, you just unscrew the foot, you turn it and you can put it as you like. So really super easy. And that's already the preparation for our next set, how to connect to the main water. Yes. <laughs> cool. Excellent. Also, last but not least, there is a kind of a, a manual, and uh, which is quite important to read. There is a, ma there is a manual inside that uh, is very important to read, even if uh, yeah. usually is the, the last thing we do is reading the manual, what yeah. we buy, me included. <laughs> but there are some interesting uh, uh, suggestions, very easy suggestions that if you follow it, uh, uh, it will, will help you. Uh, there are the explanation of some uh, uh, small alarm that the machine has, mm -hmm. that if you don't know, maybe you think machine has a fault, uh, like the timeout of the machine, all this machine mm -hmm. after 60 seconds, uh, of loading of water, the, you have a timeout that stops the machine. This, this is to prevent uh -huh. the heating element to burn or the pump to burn in case of lack of water. Mm. Imagine you do not have water in the water line, the machine needs water and the pump continues to pump until they reach the level in the boiler. So we prevent the continuous work of the pump with an alarm that stops the machine after 60 seconds. Wow. Nice. And uh, languages here is Ita Italian, English, French, German, Spanish, Chinese, Chinese, Arab. Arabic. And I will also check the manual because uh, sometimes there are, for due to translation, some uh, difficulties yes, for we, understanding. It's better uh, if, if you help us uh, suggesting. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. If we can make it more clear, we will do it mm. with pleasure. Wow. So that was unboxing. And uh, yeah, super cool. Wow. Grazie Marco. Yeah, grazie Luca. Ciao. Super. Ciao. Espresso TV. TV.